everybody. So here's the scoop. Um, yesterday out with girlfriends and um, they commented on my makeup, which I kind of wore it this way pretty much every day. This is sort of my everyday thing. Um, so when we were talking about my YouTube thing, they suggested I do one of these because it's just sort of my everyday. We're going to call it grays and plums because that's pretty much how it looks when it's done, but that's not necessarily the colors that I put on. And I used the Coastal Scent 78 palette, almost everything from that palette. So it'll be really easy for you to recreate. So let's clip the bangs back. The other thing that I did is I got um, the L'Oreal Decrease Eye Primer. And I thought I'd use it for you guys during, during the video and we could kind of see how it went. It went really well on the other eye. So, I think, I think it's a fine alternative to uh, Shadow uh, Too Faced Insurance or the Urban Decay Primer Potion. So, all over, lid to brow. Okay, 78 palette. We're going to go to kind of, you probably think it's strange, but it's in the third row. And it's next to the red, this color right here. It's a really deep brick red brick plum brick plum and that's going to go in my crease I promise this makes sense after in my crease all the way up blending as you go I'm using the Coastal Scents crease brush the pink handled dorky one I'm going to bring that color down the lid. We're doing, I don't like to call it really an inverted V because it's not really a V on my eye. I have a huge eyelid. But I'm bringing it down the lid and then bringing the line up. The line matches the corner of my eye and the end of my eyebrow. That's how I know the line I want. scary, huh? If you go on the palette from the plum color, you're going to go one, two, three up to this uh, frost. And I'm going to put that right above where I put the other. It just helps the blending. It helps mute that line. Are we scared yet? <laughs> Promise it works. Okay. Now we're going to do the coal, the white coal liner. Eyebrow. Quite a bit of it for this look. Into the corner of your eye. Star it out. All the way into the tear duct with the coal. Okay. Take a small little brush. This is my Estee Lauder um, Define Brush by Estee Lauder. And on the palette, the shimmery white. Here's the matte white on the top row. There's a shimmery white on the bottom. So I'm going to take some of that into my crease, into my tear duct. Sorry. Wish I had editing software. I could make it all perfect for you guys, but I don't. So. You just get me. Now if you notice on this eye, it's not that white because I went back and on the palette, fourth color from the Brick Plum, one, two, three, four, took a little of that, it's like a taupe shimmer, and I put it right over the one on the eyebrow, not in the tear duct, I left that one the shimmery white, but up here, and it helps in the blending. Okay. Now we're going to go back and get an angle fluff brush and I'm going to use the black matte. And I'm going to blend it right over the brick plum. See that L'Oreal decrease, it does work. It does work well. It's 
it's perfectly suited for eyeshadow primer. It really is. So if you can't, you know, purchase one of the other brands, this one works just fine and you can just get it at your drugstore. Okay, so now I've blended that in. If I left it like this, it'd still be a little scary, so don't worry, we're not done. I'm going to take my cool angle liner brush from Coastal Scents. Hope you guys can see that. I'm going to go into the Brick Plum. Like so. Okay, this I'm going to actually line my lower lash line with. Because when I put on my gel liner, I don't want it to look real stark. This hard, 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 harsh line across the bottom. So if I put this on first, then I put my gel liner on over, and this sort of peeks out the bottom, it adds a, a blend to gel liner, which you don't really do like with your finger or something. So that helps a lot. Okay, that's done. Next thing I'm going to do, put this down. I told you guys in my review that they sent me a sample. Oopsie. Falling apart over here. They sent me a sample of the Rose Sparks Loose Mineral Shadow. This would be just like a Dazzle Dust. Um, it's kind of like the MAC Champagne Dazzle or uh, Shadow Pigment. It's really. Let's see if I can get it on there. It's like a. See that? It's very sparkly. It's like champagne. So we're going to put that right on the lid. Look at how beautiful that color is. I mean, it's just gorgeous. Blow off the excess because now I'm actually going to take it and go across everything to blend it. Pretty, huh? Love it. Okay, so that part is done. Now we move on to the gel liner. The Coastal Scents gel liner, I raved about it. Uh, it just, it's the best thing that I've bought in a very long time. So I'm going to take my liner brush, which is the really pretty angle liner brush. Have my product on there. Using the angle with the shape of the eye. I always start in the middle. When I apply my gel liner, I work my way out. When I get to the corner, I do my sweep up. Cat eye effect into my shadow. Get a little closer. Hopefully you guys can see how this goes. Now we're going to go all the way into the tear duct. I have product on the flat side of the brush, and if I take it, I can actually put it on the upper water line, just in the crease. I don't go all the way across my upper water line, although you totally could with this product. I got a little on the bottom, but the neat thing is, is it's right where I'm going to put product anyway. So. And I have not had to get more color yet. That tiny little bit from the first dab into the pot is all I've needed so far. Let's see if I can get the whole way with just that little bit. I can't. It's a little dry. Little tiny bit more. If you wonder why you always open your mouth, do you wonder that when, why you open your mouth just on instinct when you're applying eyeliner or mascara? you actually are opening up the eye socket. So you're not crazy, like men seem to think we are, for doing that. There's actually a reason for it. And then we're going to get those two lines close together, like so. Sweep my finger underneath it, just to make sure that it's blending into that brick plum that we put with the liner brush on the bottom. What do you think? Good, huh? Okay. I Last thing I would have to do is my mascara, which would be this one. And um, that's it. I have just plum lips with a pretty lip gloss. And that's my look for today. You guys have a great day. Bye-bye.